Welcome, wonderful Patreon tribe. Thank you so much for supporting my work, and I hope you get your um, more clarity and more added value to your life through this um, these this extra content. So today we're looking into Mercury retrograde, what you are meant to review, rethink, and reevaluate in your life. And we have three options today. Option one, we have Lemurian quartz. Option two, we have petalite, and option three, aquamarine. Take a deep breath. Exhale. Timestamps will be in the description box. If you need more time to choose your pile, pause the video now and see you at your pile. Welcome, pile one. If you chose this Lemurian quartz, the number 31 could be relevant to you and the number four. Four is the number of structure. So, what do you need to review, rethink, and reevaluate through this Mercury retrograde? is how you have been structuring your life, okay? You need to sit and meditate and allow the information to come to you. Um, and this information are the keys to unlock um, all the challenges and, and obstacles that have been in your way. Um, there's a vision coming to you. There's a big picture thinking. And what's happening for you is through re reviewing, rethinking, and reevaluating how you've been structuring yourself, you're going to be unlocking some secrets of infinite possibility. So really rethink your structures, your routines, your habits. All of that needs to go under review right now for you. the star born and we have an egg cracking open a new you is about to be reborn and a new you is about to be born the number three could be relevant to you three is the energy of the empress as well so you're about to be born into this empress energy of attracting in abundance and so there are a few things that you need to structure in order to welcome all the blessings that are coming your way you could be a star seed as well. Um, there's something here that is destined for you and you're about to step into your destiny. But you need to be prepared. You need to have um, efficient methods in place. You need to have a strong um, sense of routine in your daily life. You need to make sure your body is healthy. Um, there's a, a, you need to make sure you have a plan, a budget plan, a business plan, um, a, a savings plan, an investments plan, uh, or just any kind of plan here. It could be an exercise plan, um, a meal plan, whatever that means for you, whatever plans you need. It's time to work on plans right now. Review your, what you've been doing up until now. Is it working? Is it not working? Okay. Review, um, you review all of all of those things here because um, you're about to align with something very abundant and if it all comes at you in the way that I'm seeing that it will all of a sudden you may not know what to do with it or where to put things okay you may need to read your astrological chart or get some kind of reading on your astrological chart um, and ask questions based on your astrological chart This is even making me think that I should teach something here on Patreon uh, based on astrology as well or teach you how to read your chart as well. So that's that's interesting. Um, but you may uh, be surprised that there was this long lost dream that you had, okay, that is coming back to you. And that's very Mercury retrograde energy. There, th You may feel a surge of a desire to follow some dream from your past here that you haven't visited since childhood. So you will be revisiting something you wanted to do when you were a child. And the energy here is allow this desire to shake you up. Okay, because it's aligned with your purpose. It was there for a reason. And there, there was a reason why you couldn't do this before. But now there's a reason why you're revisiting this. It, there's a strong reason. It's because right now you may be feeling a little stuck in the mud and this dream you've had since childhood could very well be the answer and what's going to move you out of this stuck energy. 
There could be a connection here that you have to elephants. You may have a really good memory. You could be someone very wise. And this again, elephant is memories of the past coming back to take you out of this energy of feeling stuck here. And two plus four is a six. Six is that six of cups energy of bringing something back from childhood, revisiting something to bring it to life because it's the answer to getting you. It's a key that's opening the door and it's giving you a vision, a new vision here. And it's going to unlock you and allow you to move forward again. So there could be a connection here to Africa as well. You could be um, more mature or you are a very old soul. Definitely very wise. Okay. Zana. You are protected from all types of harms. The worst is now behind you. I ask you to relax and feel safe. Yes. You, they're asking you to feel safe through these changes. Feel safe bringing back that dream because you are being protected. Your dream has been protected. The reason why it wasn't used yet, it was because it was being protected. But you're, you need to review that uh, dream you had as a child because it's, it's the key to open and to unlock your success for the future, for w the blessings you're about to come into. And it starts with getting you unstuck. The Seas of Mantaka. You're going to see the potential in this dream now. Something unconscious, because you it's almost like you had forgotten about this dream, but now it's coming back to light. It was in your subconscious. It was just lying there dormant for the right time to be activated, and it's being activated right now. This dream is being activated right now. You could have your star origins connected to Mintaka, if you're a star seed. Green calcite. Your mind is very fertile. You are headed toward abundance and growth. Yes. This dream that you're bringing back from your childhood is going to be what will bring you abundance and growth. It will definitely help you financially. It's something that was planted there for a reason, and now is the time. And this one says, nature is calling. Green calcite attracts abundance, surrounding you in a forest of clarity, positivity, and heightened awareness akin to the great outdoors. So spending time in nature is going to reconnect you to this dream. Green calcite transmutes stagnant old beliefs into the courage to explore outside your comfort zone. So what was keeping you in, is stuck in your comfort zone was the stagnant energy of old beliefs holding you back. And so now you're getting the courage to explore outside of this comfort zone. As with nature, there is beauty in the imperfect, and growth occurs only when we allow ourselves the room to expand. So maybe you're not making any moves because you feel the time is not right, or now is not the right time, the time is imperfect, not everything is aligned, but you guess what? Not everything has to be perfect all the time. You know, sometimes we just need to start somewhere. And not all growth and expansion looks perfect. Not everything is, not all paths are glam, glamorous to where we're going. So allow yourself the room to expand. Allow yourself to your imperfections because that makes you human. No one on this earth ever takes a step just because everything is perfect, because nothing is never perfect, always. So, green calcite is also opening your heart chakra and third eye chakras, helping you to let go of past resentments, past outdated thinking, and planting seeds for your growth and expansion. I'm seeing a renewal of your energy. You're reinventing yourself. You could have Venus in Cancer here. It doesn't have to be, or an important Cancer placement, or Venusian energy definitely the energy of attracting a lot of abundance toward you especially with that six there the number 24 could mean something to you a new start is definitely coming it is the next new moon is bringing you a new beginning here the next new moon that would be the new moon in that would be the new moon in gemini so you could have gemini in your chart your crown chakra is very lit, very, um, you're very clear cognizant right now, your intuition, 
is high. Archangel Uriel is with you. You're definitely someone super wise. Your wisdom is guiding you and, and you are protected even by the wisdom of the higher realms. You know, you are divinely protected and it is because you're moving in a way that is very wise. You're not just moving for the sake of it. You know what you're doing. You really do. But you need to review, just review your structures. 31, 4 plus 1 is a 5. Change. Change is coming. But this review of, of your methods, of um, even your outdated thinking needs to happen before you can move forward. Six of Pentacles. Where have you been breadcrumbed? Where have you been allowed to be breadcrumbed in your life? What, what are you feeling that you need more of to create a balance in your life? That's what you need to review. Okay? Maybe you've worked so hard and you haven't seen the effects of all this work that you've put in. It's been bringing you breadcrumbs uh, compared to what you could get. And so you need to review where that has been happening. Okay, where have you maybe deserved more than you got from your efforts in life, in general, in your daily life, with the people around you, with your job? Where can you find um, a source of income that allows you to work less and make more money is something you need to review. Some of you could have Venus Sorry, Mercury in Aquarius or the moon in Taurus or just an important placement in Taurus or Aquarius here. The chariot. Review your goals. Review the things you want to accomplish. How far have you come? Where did you put all... Where, where did, in which baskets do you put your eggs? Should you keep putting your eggs in the same baskets? Should you keep doing things the same way, expecting different results? Again, I'm seeing July energy here. Something about July. Something in between June and July. Those two very important months for you. Where you're going to be healing and you're going to be working on creating more of a balance of your life. Um, something about the number seven. Review review your goals you need to review your goals review your sense of what you believe is wealth review your sense of success what is success what truly is success to you is it just money review again where you where you've been putting your eggs in what baskets review how you've been making money and review new ways to and it's something from your past being brought back from your childhood that is going to be the answer to reinventing the way you've been making money and creating stability for yourself. And it could involve moving in a different direction or, or traveling somewhere, going somewhere, the magician. You definitely could have Gemini or Virgo in your chart. You're definitely manifesting a whole new reality for yourself. A whole new life. Review what you've been manifesting re-edit your manifestations because they may not be very effective right now the way you're speaking things maybe you're not speaking in the present tense maybe not all your manifestations have been um, geared to what you want and make sure your manifestations are aligned with your true wish fulfillment align your manifestation with your true mis uh, wish fulfillment don't sabotage with negative thinking like manifest one minute and then go, oh, but what if it doesn't happen? Stuff like that. Okay? The moon. Yeah, that self-sabotaging energy. Where is it coming from? What trauma, what wounds from the past that need to be cleared and healed away? Why? Okay, what battles have you fought? What have you been through? And what do you need to heal? Because healing energy of old wounds... Because you have been very hurt in your life. You've been through a lot. And it affected your subconscious in a very, very severe way. But now you're getting the opportunity through this Mercury retrograde, which happens to be aligned with the full moon in Scorpio total lunar eclipse that is on the, um, the channel, the main YouTube channel, that you can go and watch because there's a message there for you. But... It's giving you an opportunity 
to bring back that part of your childhood that happened before the wounds. Okay, bring back that star that was inside the little child that was there before that little child started getting beat down for whatever reason in whatever way, verbally, physically, emotionally. It's time to bring back the child before the abuse. Whether that abuse happened in your childhood or later on in life, it's time to bring that back to heal those old wounds. And so you need to review and rethink and reevaluate your own healing from past trauma so that you can see the star wanting to come out. Let's look at some Astro Dice to get more. 10th house, Mars, and Virgo. Yeah, Virgo is that energy of... Virgo is the energy of setting, setting um, new methods, new efficient rituals, habits in your life that will work toward your success, especially when it comes to your money and your career. And to take action with Mars here, take action with these new methods so that you can make, you can soar when it comes to your stability, your success, your uh, social standing, your take your take responsibility also because the 10th house is taking responsibility to take action towards structuring your life in a way that it becomes more efficient to you. Your healing becomes more efficient. Your daily tasks become more efficient. The way you make money becomes more efficient and works for you rather than you having to work so hard for it. As I'm seeing here, pile number one, that was your reading. Very interesting indeed. Let me know how this resonates for you. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you it brought you the clarity that you seek. It was a pleasure to read for you guys today. Bless you all. Till next time. Bye. Welcome, pile two. If you chose this petalite, this is your reading. This is um, what you need to review, rethink, and reevaluate during this Mercury retrograde. The number 42 could be relevant to you, as well as the number 6. So you need to reevaluate, first and foremost, the way you've been manifesting, okay? Um, how you witness things, how you observe things. Um, how are you looking at things in your life? Are you coming from a place of judgment already? Or do you already have a preconceived thought about things? So you're being called to reevaluate how you're looking and observing the world around you. Like in a sense of take the judgment out. And it's almost like forget everything you know and see it with fresh, clean eyes is what this is saying. Detach from the drama. Detach from your emotions when you are observing a situation. Become more of an observer. Um, because there's a very impersonal quality about the universe and the universe, you need to align with that energy because that's going to help you make decisions from a very, a, a more of a clear minded place in your life. Okay. So that's what you're being asked to do here as well. Become the observer and not so, uh, emotionally involved all the time. We have the temple here. So 39 could be an important number for you. And something about prayer. So something came up about prayer in one of the piles in the full moon total lunar eclipse in Scorpio pick a card that I uploaded on the channel. So that, that could um, have some important information for you in that pick a card. But there's something about making your life a living prayer here that is... Um, jumping out at me right now um create a temple a protection around you um a place where you can just be and just connect to your higher self and spirit whoever and step into this energy right now of reverence for everything seeing everything as sacred seeing everything as having potential rather than judging Maybe you grew up in a family where you um, saw your parents or your grandparents judging a lot and 
you maybe tended to this energy of being judgmental and um, and so you are being invited to um, surrender all that and to see things as if you know nothing about anything basically and just have reverence for everything that was created around you because um, there is a reason why things were created the way they are and why people are the way they are because they are also operating in all they know and how they and what they know and you know coming apart this to me is breaking free from old constructs and things that you uh, even breaking apart from your own inner judge in a way if it was too harsh because if you're judging others harshly chances are you're judging yourself harshly as well and it, it could be creating a rift between you and very important relationships in your life um, and you want to bring that back together certain you know many times on when I speak in readings a lot comes out about you know um, break free detox move away from uh, you know um, toxic energies but what I'm seeing here is a toxic mindset that was passed on by generations that is has been creating a rift between you and other people and we want to bring that back together so in this case specifically there are relationships that you may be broke free from that you're meant to mend again and that is very mercury retrograde energy is bringing things back together um, the number 46 so you need to review all those relationships and rethink and reevaluate where you broke broke free out of your own um, judgment here mm, mm, not saying misplaced but just um, misleading maybe the number 46 could be relevant to you the number 10 and the number one you're meant to close a cycle here and you need to review what cycles you need to close and what cycles you need to pick up back again. Someone here could be called Sonia or you know a Sonia. Maybe you need to mend bridges with someone who has this name. But it says, I bring you a message from your deceased loved one. I am happy at peace and I love you very much. Please don't worry about me. So now we have a message from someone who passed a while ago coming in to tell you they're okay and they love you and they if they were judgmental toward you or if you were judgmental toward them they want you to know that that is um, that energy is has been transmuted they are not focused on that and they want you to know that they're no longer judging you if they were very judgmental yes baby steps here take baby steps with what you're doing here okay take action follow your intuition even before it makes sense to you uh, because maybe your intuition is not aligned with these values that were passed on to you as you break apart from those old um, outdated constructs of um, it takes you know baby steps one thing at a time it's not going to happen from one day to the next but just allow yourself to think about it and to sit in that energy and just test it now we have quartz growth alignment and cleanse yeah Cleanse yourself from negative thinking, negative belief systems so that you can align with your true purpose, your true self and what you're here to do and so that you can grow, okay? There's a lot of growth in breaking free from old, you know, even things you were taught since you were a baby because I'm seeing since you started walking, you know? Um, but this one says, containing all the colors of the spectrum, quartz is considered to be a high vibrational crystal with many metaphysical powers, a conduit of energy. Quartz generates electromagnetic energy and dispels electricity, absorbing, storing, and releasing, regulating positive or negative energy. Quartz is highly personal and works with your energy field one-on-one, -on -one, attuning to it according to your needs. So it's a powerful crystal to use when you're manifesting. Quartz is easily programmable, allowing you to set your intentions so that the stone works in your favor. Set your intentions wisely. So if you have no other um, crystal, at least get some clear quartz, okay? So all signs, sun and moon. So this is for all signs. I'm seeing all signs in this reading so far. Full moon in Cancer. So someone here could have a moon in Cancer or have a placement in Cancer. I'm seeing in January there's a personal issue that will reach a final resolution for you. 
until then you're working on it it seems like by january you will have um broken free from outdated constructs that were no longer ser serving your highest good um also review, rethink, and reevaluate what you need to resolve when it comes to a personal issue, especially connected to your family or your childhood or a child or your child. Or a... We have the number 51 here. There needs to be healing here either between a mother-child dynamic, a lot of healing. Maybe you broke free from a mother figure who was over judgmental or broke your inner child in some way or maybe you're realizing that you as a mother have become too judgmental and your child may be drifting apart from you um, and so maybe you're wanting you're being asked to review um, rethink and reevaluate your relationship with your child this could be you and your inner child healing, what you need to heal from your mother wounds or whatever. The number six could be relevant and the number 51. So you're really being re invited to rethink all of these processes. We have the emperor. Uh, review where you may have been a little bit stubborn and review where you want to take your life, what you know, what you want to create. And review the ways in which you have been taking the reins of your own life. There may be a better way here. Someone could have Aries in their chart. Yeah, review where your efforts have been futile. Review where your ego has taken and your stubbornness has taken the lead. Because ask yourself where it's led you. Okay? No one's perfect, by the way. I'm not trying to trigger anyone we all have our triggers but where you know what has your um, ego been getting away with what has your ego been getting away with and where has it led you needs to review okay because you're a lot more powerful than your ego your intuition is a lot more powerful and it could take you a lot further than your ego and your stubbornness so allow yourself to be flexible because there's a lot of potential in you if only you stop worrying and if only you disconnect from those parts of yourself that are stuck because of old paradigm thinking, old um, outdated advice or values that are not even aligned with your own. Because you're meant to spread a different message here and you're meant to persist on what you know intuitively is right. Also review where you have been putting too much of an effort only to hurt yourself and only to see that nothing's coming of that situation and redirect your focus onto things that you can actually control and that can actually work for you and not against you. Because the star, you are meant for something a lot bigger than where you've been so far. You could even be meant for some form of stardom or fame or visibility or success here. But definitely focus on your healing and how you've been healing. Has it been effective? Because there is a lot of wish fulfillment and a lot of healing wanting to take place for you. But this has a lot to do with releasing stubbornness of how what you believe healing is and the healing process. King of Pentacles. I'm seeing you uh, healing your finances and getting a wish fulfillment when it comes to your finances. But you need to review the way you your relationship with money. Maybe some of these outdated um, beliefs have to do have been blocking your your financial blessings here, and so you need to um, review the way you, you, your relationship with money, and you know what your beliefs are around money. Like, have you been told that there's not enough, or you have to work super hard? You you have to work till you get sick so you can make money. Review all these things that were taught and passed down generation. Be grateful when you have enough money to be able to pay for something rather than thinking, oh gosh, here I go again having to spend this money. That's already putting negative energy in. When you, when you, when you pay something with gratitude, you're already um, 
inviting more in just because the energy of gratitude is the energy of inviting more in abundance because you trust in the abundance review where you have been in a lack mindset five of pentacles and where you have been blocking your own blessings not on purpose not that it's your fault it's just something that was created a belief system that came i, I believe from your family at the well because what you're truly meant for is abundance having everything and so you could be the first person breaking that generational um you know um ancestral karma generational um beliefs in your family you're going to be the first one breaking that and proving to everyone that it's actually you're actually capable of a lot more than what was taught to you and because of this you're going to heal generational karma and ancestral trauma especially related to money here is what i'm seeing here and you're going to be inspiring people around you, especially your family and others. Because with the Queen of Wands, you could have Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries, Aquarius in your chart, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Cancer, um, what else? You could have these signs, Aries as well. And I'm seeing all signs there, so don't be stuck on that. The, stuck on the energy here more, that you're going to be inspiring, you're going to be glowing up, you're going to be getting a lot of attention for um, your... Uh, the way you've been able to overcome these limiting beliefs and you've been able to heal your finances and maybe for generations in your family to come and helping others do the same with their families and generations. Okay, we have Scorpio, Venus, and the second house. Definitely uh, review the way you attract in abundance because Venus in the second house is money and attracting in money. And Scorpio... Yeah, that's that fixed energy. Review what is has been fixed energy and fixed beliefs in terms of what you what is what you're capable of. So you need to reprogram your um, assumption of what you believe is possible for yourself based on what you were taught or what you heard or what you learned in the past. And Scorpio is a death and a rebirth. It's plutonic energy. You can change this completely around by uh, letting go of the stubbornness around. Um, your beliefs around money and reprogramming your mind into making money work for you rather than you working for money. Pile number two, that was your reading. Very interesting indeed. I hope this uh, brought you clarity and I'll see you next time. Bless you all. Bye. Welcome, last but not least, Pile 3, if you chose Aquamarine, this is what you are meant to review, rethink and reevaluate during this Mercury retrograde. The number seven may be relevant to you. You may need to reevaluate, review, and rethink your spiritual path, your connection to your higher self and your soul. If you've been disconnected, it may be time to reconnect um, so that you can gain enhanced clarity, so that you can achieve a level of calm discernment, so that you can be more aware and accepting of your own truth even, okay? Maybe there is a part of yourself that you are struggling to accept uh, for whatever reason. It could be external factors like feeling accepted, but you need to review why you are not accepting yourself and if it has something to do with other people. Do you even care what these other people think? Why do you care what these other people think? You know, are there lives that inspiring that lead you to want to even impress them? Okay, things you need to think about. The underworld, yeah. Are you being driven by your ego? Are you being driven by, by uh, you know, what other people who are not achieving much are telling you or what you believe they expect of you or, you know, what is going on there? I'm seeing worms and, you know, what kind of... Um, um, you know, what, what kind of uh, thinking is going on in your brain like um, that is completely um, sidetracking you, right? This nightmare, you need to end this nightmare. Maybe you are having a recurrent nightmare here that is keeping you stuck, but it's time to let go of the nightmare that you have been creating in your own mind telling yourself a story about what other people think it's like 
There's a monkey brain energy going on here, the devil living in the mind. You are maybe too worried of what other people are thinking, how people perceive you. You could have heavy Capricorn in your chart where you are so, like, you always have, like, you're always seeing yourself from outside. You're always judging yourself. You're always very, very hard on yourself. You could be going through a Saturn return, doesn't have to be, or you could just have really strong Saturn in your chart or just these planets transiting or Saturn transiting your main planets right now. So, yeah, you need to maybe um, rethink how much you do think about things that have absolutely no... Um, it's a waste of time, basically. Things you're thinking about that are a waste of time that's stopping you from getting where you need to be. And it, it's keeping you in a fear and an ego mode because of other people's fear and other people's ego that it seems like it's seeping into your energy. It's like this... This meshing of energy, maybe you need to get away from um, people or things that you're watching on TV or on the radio or um, in the newspapers online that is confusing you, that is keeping you stuck. It's not your energy. It's like you're allowing other people's energy to seep in. And you need to get at the bottom to the bottom of that so that you can you can find the strength and the, the courage to move out and, and just live in your truth and gain the clarity that is true to you and connect to your own intuition and not be um, very so connected to the external that you you forget yourself and your own path here. Um, wow, very powerful energy. Yeah, because it is just keeping you stuck there and you feel like you're so alone even though you're so surrounded by... And your reason why you're feeling alone is because... There's nothing to gain from uh, this energy, these people you are paying attention to, too much attention to people who are low vibrational around you, and you just need to get away and go your own way with this run, one ring circus. The path less, uh, tra the, the road less traveled book that's coming to mind. You need to carve your own path. It's different. Yes, it's scary because it's different, but you're going to find your soul tribe and you're going to realize that actually a lot of people are on that very path. And so it's not that different. It's not that it's just maybe you're too focused on where you're at, your surroundings at the time and the people in your immediate vicinity who may not be aligned with your highest good, with your own energy that you're trying to create for yourself, and you need to venture out on your own so you can find your tribe. They're out there. And maybe they're actually a lot closer than you think, but you need to allow yourself to move away from this, these things keeping you stuck. And they're mostly in your mind, okay? Or people trying to keep you stuck as well could be. But you don't have to stay stuck. The number 15 could be relevant to you as well as the number 6. Archangel, sorry, Angel Daniel. Someone's here, his name could be Daniel, or you're dealing with Daniel, or Daniel is relevant to you, but Angel Daniel is assisting you with a matter related to marriage, whatever that means to you, okay? Either a marriage you're in or a marriage you want. Um, maybe someone is against someone you want to marry and you need to move away from that energy. It is very possible, but let's see. You are being assisted when it comes to matters of marriage, wherever and however way you need assistance right now. Breath of the cosmos, my will to thy will, micromanaging the, the universe. So you also need to think about how you're trying to micromanage your life or people who are trying to micromanage your life right now. It could be that there are people trying to micromanage your life right now. And you may need to break free from that. Or maybe you're trying to micromanage things in your mind and you need to break free and rethink why you're doing this. Why you're allowing other people to do this. Micromanage your future, your ideas, everything. And we have Kunzite. Love, femininity, and transition. You are in going through a transition phase of breaking down barriers surrounding, surrounding your heart. And these barriers have a lot to do with your own mental process own overthinking are keeping your, your heart stuck with these worms of ego around the around it. So Kunzai offers unconditional love to heal lingering wounds, helps you feel safe while being vulnerable. So allow yourself to be vulnerable. Take all those worms out of your mind because vulnerability is ultimately your 
key to all kinds of abundance, allowing you to express your love authentically and expansively. A highly vibrational stone. Kunzites, who's, who's, whose advice are you listening to also that is keeping your own heart chakra closed? And your own, you're, it's keeping you away from love. A highly vibrational stone, Kunzite's protection can be used as an energetic shield that surrounds your aura and protects it against emotional vampires and negative influences in your life. The stone aids in feminine rites of passage from puberty to becoming a mother. Kunzite supports loving your body no matter what phase of life you're in. Someone here could have Taurus, Leo, or Scorpio placements, more specifically Venus or Pluto and Taurus, Leo, or Scorpio. It doesn't have to be. Okay, there could be a feminine energy in your energy keeping you stuck here. Um, or it could be your own feminine energy needing healing. Or you're paying too much attention to other people's advice rather than your own intuition. Luck is on your side if only you allow yourself to trust your intuition. Something about the beginning of December is bringing you a new beginning here. There's some form of luck coming, and I'm seeing Cupid's arrow as well, possibly beginning of December here for you, or you getting a chance at the beginning of December, Sagittarius season. You could have a placement in Sagittarius. Door to spirit. There is a victory here for you in the beginning of December here. A lucky streak that will lead to victory and a powerful change. And this is divinely guided because of your spiritual path. It's connected to your spiritual path. Princess of Cups, you could have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio in your chart. Um, what you need to review is the way you communicate and make sure you're communicating from your heart space. You need to review things from your past that you may want to bring back. Because they were things that used to make you happy. You need to bring back those things that used to make you happy from your past. Also, you may want to review uh, a certain relationship that you want to reconcile and have a union with and recover a relationship or a friendship with someone you've known for a very long time or since childhood. Reconcile, maybe a reconciliation. Signs I'm seeing Scorpio, Cancer, and Libra now. Ten of Pentacles, you need to review or bring back something from your past that would help you on your financial path. Also, a reconciliation here with someone you could end up marrying. Or you are going to end up marrying someone from your past or you've known for a very long time from your childhood or a friend. Maybe there's a friendship here that could lead to marriage. This could be someone younger or older than you. I'm seeing uh, an age gap here. Eight of Swords. Review what is keeping you stuck and unhappy and unable to get married or be with the person you want to marry. Or review what's keeping you stuck maybe in a long-term situation. Review how you're trying to control and micromanage a marriage. Or why someone is trying to do this with you. Review anyone's motives if they're being too stubborn and trying to be too controlling of you. Review what it is that you want in your daily life. What it is that brings you pleasure and move in that energy. If you are being too controlling, chances are you're dealing with someone who is equally controlling and you're creating a codependent situation that is unhealthy. Maybe some of you are in a golden cage and you're not happy. So you need to review why you're keeping yourself in that golden cage. Why, how is your self-worth and your self-concept working that you don't believe you can make that happen for yourself. That you are stuck to someone else's orders. So we have South Node, Fourth House, and Pisces. Maybe you're stuck in a belief that is outdated and outmoded when it comes to married life or family life. Uh, you're stuck in what your family thinks and wants and believes. 
but Pisces energy, this is an illusion. You have your own dreams. You should connect to your own intuition about what your family values are, who you want to marry, who you want to be with, and what you believe a family should be and look like. Even if it goes to against what your father used to say or things that were passed on generation to generation, and you may need to go off on your own and stop allowing people to micromanage your life. Or if you're the one micromanaging someone else's life, then you need to break free from that energy because these are things that are just keeping you stuck. If you're trying to control things too much, if you are um, also not allowing yourself to move into your life purpose because it feels uncomfortable and it feels safer to stay where you are, but it seems like your comfort zone is becoming quite uncomfortable and it's time to move away from that energy, pile number three. That was your reading. Let me know how that resonates. I hope you, this brought you the clarity that you seek. It was a pleasure to read for all of you today. Bless you all. Bye. Till next time.